Hi guys, welcome to Celeb Look. I'm Sherry. So Nakshi Sinha was spotted at the race course looking very elegant recently. She was wearing a lovely off-white dress that looked stunning on her with her hair in a nice top knot like mine and aviators and pointed toe heels and lots of bracelets on her hand. She looked really elegant and perfect for the derby. She wasn't there for the derby. She was of course there to give another trophy but perfectly dressed for the race course. So today we're going to show you how you can get that look. So today I am wearing a lovely orange off-shoulder dress. I know Sonakshi's was off-white but I love colour and I can't do white. So I've got the same like a little ruffle. Her ruffles were on the side, mine's a little here. We've got the identical rope belt. Rope belts look really nice when you wear them with something here that's tight on the waist because it sort of accentuates your waist and you have the rope hanging and it looks really cool. She was also seen sported with a lot of bracelets on her hand. That's also something I love to do, bracelet stacking. It looks really cool and trendy. I've also worn my watch along with that, so you can try that. She's of course wearing pointed toes. I'm wearing open toed sandals, but whatever works with your look. And of course, aviators as always. So now she loves her aviators and so do I. So I think if you don't have a pair of sunglasses, it's a great pair to invest in and it works with a lot of different outfits. The makeup is really simple. It's just clean, not too shiny, just basic eyes, cold. So now she loves her kajal. So I've got some kajal on today. Like a nice orangey lip is what I've done. And this lovely updo, which I'm gonna show you how to get. So keep watching. For this look, you're gonna need some combs. I've got one which is a regular comb and one which is a tail comb. You're gonna need one of these, a regular elastic band. Get a hairnet because it makes things neater and lots of boppins and some upins, hairspray or gel, whatever you have. That's it. So I've just lightly wet my hair with the hairspray. You can do the same or if you've just washed your hair, that's perfect. You know, you can work with wet hair. So just comb it all like this really sleek and nice. Now we need to make this a high top knot. So what we're gonna do is just flip the hair over and then brush the back like this so that it's nice and neat and keep catching it with your other hand once you've got that together just make sure you've got all of that the back all up and bring that up and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just brush that again from the front so that it's really sleek and nice this really needs to be very tight you can't have loose hair or you know loose bits because otherwise the bun's not gonna sit right so make sure it's really tight and once you're sure that it's all tight then take your elastic band and tie it up also make sure it's high because you need that as a high top knot because otherwise it's not going to look nice it has to be a really tight pony so keep going till you feel it's really tight and secure now just pull that again just neaten it with the brush now all we need to do is we need to mold this into a bun but for the braid we're going to put a braid outside this bit so for that we need a long section from the bottom which we just keep separately so just take out a separate section which is not too thick and not too thin it has to be sort of in between so take this this is the section we're going to keep separate for that so we just take this and maybe just tie a rubber band around it for now so we know that this is the section that we're going to use. And now we take the rest of the hair, leave this section away and take all this hair, start twisting and making it into a nice big bun over here. As you can see, just make that into a nice big bun, nice and easy. Take a lot of these U-pins and start sticking them in to ensure that the bun is nice and tight. We're going to ultimately cover that with a hairnet, so it's going to look a lot neater. But we still need to stick in the pins so that it's sort of secure before that. I'm going to try and use the bigger pins because those actually hold more and they work better. So take the big ones and just stick them in. There. Now I'm going to take this hairnet and just place that over this bun. Tighten the net. Around the bun. So as you can see that's like covered and that's neat. Now the bun's really neat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this portion out, 
take it and take that and make a regular three way braid like you normally would. Just make sure it's nice and neat. Go all the way down and then just tie it with a nice thin regular black rubber band. If you've got blonde hair then obviously go with a lighter color. Now we take this braid like this and wrap it over the band like that as you can see. And take this bit here and just tuck it into the bun. So the braid is forming a circle around the bun. Then you take some U pins and just stick them into this braid to ensure that it's stuck in the bun. Take the bigger ones because you want it to go nice and deep into the bun so that the braid's not loose. So just keep doing this all around to ensure that the bun is secure with the braid. Of course, there's a thinner bit at the back because the braid has tapered. If you have the same length hair, then possibly you won't have that problem. But um, it's okay because the main thing is the front and it should look really nice on the front. Now, what we're going to do here is with all this hair, you can't have a lot of flyaways with the bun. We need to actually make it really tight and secure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some hairspray and just spray that the back and then we're going to take our tear comb and we're just going to brush that really nice and tight rid of all the flyaways and your bun becomes really nice and neat same with the back you can also use gel or whatever you prefer gel hairspray gel sort of i guess holds it all together a little better but um, hairspray works just as well and then we take some bob pins and just put them down here to make sure that none of this bit is coming out and there that completes the look so guys i hope you like this look it's really easy to spot and the hair looks stunning as well so if you like the look then definitely like the video and subscribe to celeb look for more such looks i'm off to the races so see you bye